The critical Mach number is that Mach number indication that makes in some part of your aircraft the airflow to become supersonic and approach or actually overshoot Mach 1. It might seem complicated, let me explain what does it mean. Hi there, I'm Gabriel from PilotCrime.com. I'm a training captain on the Boeing 737 and I help you to understand better the aviation world and become a better pilot. So without further ado, let's jump into the Mach Critic or Critical Mach Number. In order to understand why the Critical Mach Number is so important, we need to uh, know that the jet airliners that you see outside there, like the Airbus A320, the Boeing 737 and so on, are subsonic aircraft. What does it mean? It means that these aircraft, they have to fly below Mach 1, because if they overshoot the speed of Mach 1, they're gonna experience this aircraft, they're gonna experience a shockwave, the shockwave will increase drastically your drag, and increasing drastically your drag, your fuel consumption will go up a lot. And on top of that, your lift capability is gonna get a lot worse, okay? You're gonna have as well a pitch down moment and so on. So these aircraft are clearly not made to fly above Mach 1. If you look at the critical Mach number on the surface, okay? You can say that then the critical Mach number will be Mach number 0 0.099 or 0.98, but that's not actually correct. Because what we need to know is that even though your aircraft is flying at Mach 0.80, for example, what we need to know is extremely important to understand is that the airflow on the wings is actually a, has got a faster speed because it has to travel on top of the wings and then go back. This travel actually increases the speed of the airflow. Thus, the aircraft is flying at Mach 0.80, for example. However, on top of the wing, we have a speed of the airflow that maybe is Mach 0.90. Okay, so what happened then? Is, what happened is that even though you are flying a Mach 0.90, for example, suddenly you're gonna have a supersonic uh, airflow on top of your wings, thus creating the shock waves and all the problems that we explained. Okay, so the critical Mach number actually makes sure that the airflow all around your plane will stay on the subsonic range, okay? And that's why it's so important to know exactly what your critical Mach number is and not to overshoot the critical Mach number. The critical Mach number is very well indicated on the uh, airspeed tape on the glass cockpit, okay? Like in the example of the Boeing 737, okay? We've got the airspeed tape and on the in there, on top of the uh, airspeed tape, you can see these red and black boxes. The beginning of the red box indicates that that one is your MMO, your maximum Mach number speed, and you don't want to overshoot that. It can happen that you actually overshoot the MMO, never happened to me in my life, again, touch wood, but anyway, how does that happen? Normally when you fly close to your MMO and then you counter turbulence, the speed can rise a little bit. By rising, by having this increment in speed due to the turbulence, sometimes happens that some guys, they actually went into this uh, uh, above the MMO, thus triggering the clacker. The clacker is the indication of the fly deck, the flight in the flight deck that actually tells you that you are flying above your MMO, getting very close to your critical Mach number, thus creating all the problems that we know. All right, now I'm gonna show you what is this clacker. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, give it a like and consider subscribe to the channel. Also go to paloclimb.com where you can subscribe for free paro training content. I wish a great day and I'll see you on the next one.